we come to another time of prayer. We bow hearts and minds together as we seek our Lord God. Let us pray. Lord God Almighty, we cannot come to you at this time without thinking about coronavirus and its impacts on our lives, on our society, on our world. Lord God, have mercy on us. We ask for your protection from the spread of the virus. You are powerful, you are merciful. We remember those in COVID hotspots, those currently in isolation, may they know your presence in their isolation. May they know your peace in their turmoil and your patience in waiting. There are many with coronavirus, but also others known in our midst with significant health concerns. And these prayers, Lord, we say the same for them. Lord, we pray for healing and peace. We pray that they might know you as Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals, and that you would heal in people's lives. Lord, we pray again, have mercy on us. And we pray for those who are grieving. We think in particular for Mary Smith's family and friends. There are many others who have lost loved ones to coronavirus or the lack of treatment for cancers or other things at this time. And so, Father, in this time, might they find your fellowship in their suffering. Might they find your comfort in their loss and hope in their time of despair. We know others in our midst going through treatment for various health issues. Those who are concerned about their health in the midst of tests, of waiting to hear about appointments. Lord, in this time of quiet, those we know, we name them before you in our hearts. As your word says in 2 Corinthians, He, God, has delivered us from such a deadly peril and he will deliver us again. On him we have set our hope that he will continue to deliver us again. Lord, we thank you for your word and it is you, Lord, that we rely on. Lord, for those in the medical profession dealing with the daily pressures, the current crisis we pray for resilience for wisdom and diagnosis and treatment and love and compassion as they deal with patients we thank you for those looking for a vaccine or treatment give them clarity give them your ways forward or might there be a breakthrough today and we pray for our leaders We pray for the World Health Organisation, for Boris Johnson on the Cabinet, for SAGE, for the Scottish Government and people like Jason Leach and other senior public health officials, heads of schools, hospital leaders and other institutions of authority and responsibility. Lord God, grant these people wisdom. Grant them faith, yeah, faith in you, but also faith that there is a better future and strength that they would be able to ensure vital institutions are sustained at this time and the best way forward is found. And Lord God, may this whole crisis turn people to you. Lord, what is our response to this as your people, your church? Show us how to care for our neighbours in real practical ways and let us do it. Show us how to point people to you, the Lord God of heaven and earth. Sustain us. Grant us a closeness of walk with Jesus, 
day by day, that you may get the glory. And so, Lord, we do pray for the church in our land. Let it be united in preaching the good news of Jesus Christ. Encourage ministers, encourage Christians, and at this time, Lord, might we in our church, Sandyford, find new ways to introduce people to Jesus. Might they see and understand their need of a saviour and your lavish love over us. We pray that you would bless Sarah and Raindrop and the work they do amongst international students. Bless our efforts, Lord. Bless the various Bible studies, the contact that there is with drop-in folk, the International Cafe. Lord, we pray that these different activities week by week would draw many to know you. So please, Lord, we look to you for a new minister soon. And we look to you to add more to our number that even more might know you and all the glory would go to you. So Lord God, please help us now as we shortly hear your word. Help us to hear your message to us. And bless Ian as he prepares again for next week that you would be preparing us as your people, that you would be using this time as we study Psalm 23 together to encourage and strengthen us day by day to love you more and more for your glory. Amen. Let us sing together again.